welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity please remember to subscribe and i'm so so thankful for those who have subscribed it means the world to me and today uh we are crocheting a two colored sweater i use color pink and green and i use front posts and back posts to create the shoulder area and this ribbon here and we put buttons and this sweater is so so i feel it's also classy and cute let me show you how the back looks this is the back looks like this and remember you can make this sweater as long as you want i wanted mine to be this short i love them short you know <laughs> so it's long this is how it looks and without so much talking let's get started with the tutorial we are using winter king yarn this is a hundred percent acrylic yarn and it's 50 grams this is color 523 and we are using green and pink green is also a hundred percent acrylic yarn i will use a 3.5 mm hook a pair of scissors stitch markers and a tape measure for this project this is how we will work on this project we will start with the front panels then go to the back panel do the sleeves do the ribbing at the shoulder area and put buttons and this is how the back looks Yes, so you need your shoulder to shoulder measurements and that's all. Let's get started. This is one of the front panels. It looks like this. As I said, you're beginning with the front panel. So we'll start with this small part and increase on each row as we go up until we get to the shoulder area. So that is the pattern. We will start with the small part going upwards, okay? To begin, we are doing chains. I want a short sweater and I will do 8 inches, which is equivalent to 38 chains. If you want the small part that I showed you to be much longer or if you want your sweater to be much longer, you will do more chains. As for me, I'm doing 38 chains, which is equivalent to 8 inches. My cue, this is a sweater for size small. Now we begin with single crochets. Do 10 single crochets and I'll meet you once you are done. The 10 single crochets will be the ribbing at our waist area. So I'll meet you once you're done with your 10 single crochets. I'm done with my 10 single crochets. Take your stitch marker and insert it on the 10th stitch like that. This will be marking a start of a new stitch. From here, we want to work on half double crochets across all the chains that you have. Do that and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm at the end of the row and this is how our row 1 looks. To begin row 2, chain 1, turn your work and we are doing 
half double crochets in the back loop only until you get to your stitch marker okay so work half double crochets in the back loop only until you get your stitch marker and i'll meet you there I am done this is how my work looks when you get to the stitch marker remove the stitch marker and now we are working single crochets in the back loop only insert the first single crochet in the back loop only like that and remember to always put back your stitch marker I prefer putting back my stitch marker it's much easier than counting the 10 stitches but you can do both as well and now we are working single crochets in the back loop only until the end I am at the end and on the last stitch we will insert our hook as a normal single crochet like that and finish up that first row chain one turn your work and we are working single crochets in the back loop only until you get to your stitch marker okay I hope you note the difference while completing the row you finish up with a single crochet but when starting the row we start with a single crochet in the back loop only we are the stitch marker remove the stitch marker and do your single crochet in the back loop only and return your stitch marker And we will work half double crochets in the back loop only until the end I'm almost at the end and also at the end here we will do normal half double crochets and now we will begin our increase we will do two half double crochets in the last stitch okay we are beginning our increases immediately chain one turn your work and do another increase in the first stitch that is two half double crochets in the first stitch after you turn your work then we'll continue with the pattern which is half double crochets in the back loop only till you get to your stitch marker once you have the stitch marker remove your stitch marker and work single crochets in the back loop only until you get to the end always remember to put back your stitch marker and remember the last stitch we are doing normal single crochet to complete the row chain one turn your work and we will do single crochets in the back loop only till you get to the stitch marker
I'm at the end of this row too and remember at the end here we do normal single crochets like that then you'll chain one turn your work and we'll do single crochets in the back loop only till you get to your stitch marker once you reach your stitch marker remember it's the beginning of a new stitch which is half double crochets and we'll work like that till you get to the top remember to put an increase which is two half double crochets in the last stitch chain one and it's the beginning again you'll do two half double crochets it will give you this wavy thing going on which means you'll increase in each stitch until you get to your shoulder area and I did a total of 24 rows this is how my work looks remember we are always doing an increase in the beginning of a row and the end of a row which is the half double crochets two half double crochets in each stitch at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row okay so that is the pattern and you'll do that until you get to the height of your shoulder area for me I did 24 rows so I will meet you once you're done with the increases and we'll do normal stitches till you get to the shoulder area I am done and this is how my work looks it should be the same with the other front panel meaning you'll have two front panels as I said I did only 24 rows and I added two more rows making it 26 the two rows were none increase meaning I did not do any increases at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row okay once you get to the shoulder area do not do any more increases so this is how my work looks and i did a total of 26 rows which is equivalent to eight inches done with that we will begin on the back panel and the back panel should be equivalent to the two front panels which is 16 inches we will do chains i did a total of 72 chains and we're working the same way we'll do single crochets first 10 single crochets first put a stitch marker and continue with the half double crochets but in this case there is no increasing done those are my first 10 single crochets put your stitch marker and continue with half double crochets I'm at the end chain one and turn your work and we are doing half double crochets in the back loop only all the way up to get to the stitch marker remember now there is no increases done 
is have double crochets in the back loop only till you get your stitch marker remove your stitch marker and do half and do single crochets in the back loop only all the way it's the same pattern in that now there are no increases done and for the back we will do a total of 43 rows that is my first row in case you are working with two stitches i mean two yarns you'll just find the middle part and reattach your other yarn so that is the pattern and you're going to work like that till you get to a total of 43 rows which is 16 inches and i'll meet you once you are done i am done and this is how it looks i just reattach my yarn and join the green part if you put the green part to the green part it should be the same as in in the middle and the pink part like that this is how your work should look in case you're working with two colors and if we measure this it's equivalent to 16 inches this is the back panel the front panels were 8 inches each okay now you want to work on this sleeve area it has the ribbing at the wrist area and the rest i used half double crochets in the back loop only to get your sleeve measurements measure your upper arm and that is how you get your sleeve measurements okay this is my sleeve measurement keeping in mind it will stretch a bit I went with 10 inches to begin on the sleeve make a slip knot and we will chain as long as you want your sleeve to be we will begin from the upper arm up to the ribbing area and mine is 17 inches that's how long i chained so take your arm measurement from your shoulder area all the way to your wrist area and that is how long we will chain i am done and now we want to begin on our normal chain uh, stitches first we begin with 12 single crochets i added just two more so now we are doing 12 single crochets and then we will put our stitch marker after your 12th single crochet once you've put your stitch marker we will continue with the pattern which is half double crochets all the way You get to the end, you chain one, turn your work, and we do half double crochets in the back loop only. It's the same, same pattern until you get to your stitch marker where we'll do um, single crochets in the back loop only. And we'll work like that until you get to 10 inches, or if you want baggy sleeves, you can do more rows. Okay? So do that and I'll meet you once you have your sleeve done.
I am done and this is how both my sleeves look it should be of the same size that is same length and same width looks like that and now we are ready to join everything together she'll have all these pieces ready two front panels one back panel and two sleeves okay now we want to join everything together align your work identify where you want to be the wrong side and the right side then we align your work like this. This is my wrong side. And then I'm aligning my work ready to join everything together. First, we will start with this area, this shoulder area. We'll join using single crochets. I'm using a 2.5 mm hook or rather you can use a darning needle to join reattach your yarn and use single crochets to join and remember we're only joining the tip meaning up to where we finished doing our increases and we are joining the back panel to the front panel only at the ends okay and i'll meet you once you have both your panels joined together I am done and this is how it looks remember we are working on the wrong side if you flip this around the right side looks like that so cut off your yarn and always remember to reinforce your work that is how it looks when both panels have been joined together now we want to join the sleeve identify the wrong side and you're going to fold your work into two like this make sure it's well aligned take your stitch marker and put it at the middle like this and bring it to the middle part of your shoulder area where we joined that is the middle part and join the two together using this stitch marker and lock it straighten your work and she, it should look like this we want to join the sleeve to the other part of the garment so flip your work around like that and you're using single crochets to join just make sure your work is well aligned so it becomes straight when you are done joining and we are using single crochets to join I'm done and this is how my work looks remember we are working on the wrong side if we flip this around 
this is how the right side looks go ahead and join the other sleeve and i'll meet you once your other sleeve is joined and also the rest of the garment joined together everything is joined using single crochets and remember to work on the wrong side okay you'll align your work like this and join everything together using single crochets this is how my work looks and i hope yours looks the same so you are going to turn this around because you want to start working on the ribbing of the neck area all the way to these front panels once you turn your work we are working on the right side using a 3.5 mm hook reattach your yarn and i'm just playing around with colors with this pink i use green and with this green i'm using pink and we are working with double crochets all around the garment and i'll meet you once you're done doing double crochets all around your garment which is the front panel all the way to the neck area up to the other front panel I forget once you get to this edge here this one here we will do an increase so that it pops out that means we will put two double crochets in one stitch to make it pop then the rest will be normal double crochets all the way down so remember to do that on both sides of your garment. I am at the end and now we want to begin a new row chain two turn your work and we are working with front posts and back posts so we'll start with the front post and the next will be a back post so we are alternating between front posts and back posts all the way round our front panels the neck area up to the next I mean up to the other front panel that we have so we are doing front post and back post all the way around and I'll meet you on the other side I am done and now we want to put button holes to put button holes you will place buttons where you want them to be I used four buttons you can use the same more or less depending on what you want once you know where you want your buttons to be you'll remove the buttons and now we want to work on the button holes I changed my yarn. Remember, I just playing around with green and pink. Chain two, turn your work, and do the first front post that you have. Do 
do the front posts and now you want to place the first button hole measure your button like this so that it's not big or small the space that you'll create once you know the size that you have for me it's small button kind of small so i'll just chain two and skip the first two stitches which is the first front post and back post then continue with the pattern that i had which is front post and back posts once you skip these two stitches it will leave this passing which will be our buttonhole and we'll continue the same pattern once you get to where you marked for your second button you will chain two skip two stitches which is one front post and one back post continue with the pattern until you get to the next buttonhole like that and once you're done you'll continue to the with the pattern all the way around which is front post and back post without leaving any spaces because you don't need any more buttonholes up to the other side of your front panel which is front post and back posts Before you continue with the normal pattern, make sure your button holes and where you put the buttons are equivalent. Before you continue with your pattern, which is normal front post and back post without spacing. I was just confirming that. And now we are continuing with the pattern, which is front post and back post. I will change yarn to pink where pink starts. And I'll meet you at the end of your other front panel. okay i went ahead and did the front panels and back panels all round now we want to do another round then we'll come and do edging around the buttonholes i will show you how that is done so to begin a new row of course you chain two then turn your work and it's just a normal row of front posts and back posts and i'll meet you once you're at the buttonholes so that I show you how we do the edging at the buttonholes. And then we will stitch in the buttons and we will be done. Okay, we are here at the first buttonhole. We want to do edging of these buttonholes and to do that, we will do three double crochets inside the buttonhole just like this so remember always to yarn over first and we'll go in there and do the first double crochet the second double crochet and then the third double crochet just like that and the fourth one actually I did four double crochets and that's how we do the edging of the buttonhole and that's how it looks after that we continue with the 
normal front posts and back posts it depends with which one starts first for, for here the back posts continue the normal back posts until you get to the next button hole and you'll do four double crochets inside the button hole and continue the pattern until you get to the next button hole okay once you're done you'll cut off your yarn then stitch in the buttons i already stitched three buttons i'll show you how i stitch them in i have one button to go and i'm using the normal sewing needle and the normal yarn for sewing you know for sewing normal clothes <laughs> so just make sh making sure all my buttons and buttonholes are well aligned you know then i'll show you how i sew in the buttons using the normal needle and yarn So this is how I sew in the button. I just go in and out of the button holes. There's holes in the button so you just go in and out of them until you're comfortable enough, it's strong enough. Then you'll cut off your yarn, make, make a knot to reinforce it and then you'll be done. done and this is how the buttons look and this is how my outfit looks thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial was easy enough to follow through please remember to subscribe to my channel like and comment and also remember to turn on the notification bell i will see you in my next video have a great day evening or morning and have a fruitful week. Goodbye.